we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, October 6th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, we're 48 hours away from kicking off Olympia weekend and there's a ton of energy in the air right now. And we have another brand new edition of Recap Wednesday coming your way hot off the presses. Starting with this recap of last weekend's IFBB Arnold Classic UK. And in case you haven't heard, the big story here was Nathan Diasha looking incredible on his way to collecting his second win of the season, which gives him even more momentum heading into this weekend's Olympia. It also qualifies him for next year. In classic physique, your winner, Michael DeBool, was probably the most conditioned athlete in the entire lineup, which really helped to make this one a clear-cut decision for the judges. In men's physique, our pre-show favorite, Ryan Terry, rose to the occasion and landed himself back in the winner's circle thanks to a pretty spectacular effort. Michelle Mensah secured the win in fitness, and in the bikini division, UK native Phoebe Hagen continued her strong season by locking up a hard-earned victory. Next up on the schedule, we have the inaugural Minneapolis Pro, which was a bikini-only event that went down up there in the Twin City area. And when the dust finally settled here, we saw rookie Erica Roxana Marquez find herself as the last woman standing as she secured the first win of her pro career. Second place went to Italy's Francesca Stoico, who looked like she was using this show as a tune-up for the Olympia weekend. Third place went to a familiar face in Ellie Fernandez, who just managed to edge out your fourth place finisher, Alicia Fachin. And wrapping up a solid top five group was rookie Cheek Nam Yoon, who made some nice improvements since her bro debut at the San Antonio Pro a few weeks ago. The last show on our recap docket from last weekend is the Daytona Pro. There was a lot going on here, so buckle up for this one. The stop spot in open men's physique went to Yusuf El Shaban, and Everett Davis brought home the gold in the men's physique masters. Tim Tevin locked up a win in the masters classic physique, and Chris Nemzik brought home the top spot in masters bodybuilding. On the women's side of things, Eugenia Davis collected the win in masters bikini, and Rachel Brewer secured the win in Masters Physique. And in the Masters figure, Edith Davis added another win to her season title with another solid effort here. And we're wrapping up our show today by wishing a melancholy goodbye to one of my longtime friends, Bob Bonham, who passed away at the age of 70. If you want to hear more about the details surrounding Bob's death, you can watch the video of the conversation that John Romano and I had at the YouTube channel after the show. But for now, I want to take a moment to celebrate Bob's life and his role as a fixture in the bodybuilding industry for the last few decades. Back in 1984, he opened the doors to Strong and Shapely Gym, which was the East Coast Mecca before people even knew what the East Coast Mecca was. Over the years, Bob was also a promoter, an advocate, and a mentor for literally hundreds of athletes from all walks of life. And the impact he had on bodybuilding over the last three decades cannot be overstated. And I know there are a lot of people out there walking around with heavy hearts right now after hearing this sad news. So I would like to send my deepest condolences out to all of Bob's family and friends and all the people he touched over the years. Rest in peace, my friend. <laughs>